and with my wife alongside me, we embarked on the torturous seven-hour journey. Probably best if I let you decide which elements of that sentence implies torture. And just two hours into our travels, I received an unexpected phone call. So how, how bad is it? And what, what are we talking about, like all week or just for the first few days? So, so you suggested we, we had cancelled because I'm an hour and a half into the drive now and uh, if we're going to do it, now's the time to turn back. Did you, go, did you record all that? Basically, it's forecast snow on Tuesday and Wednesday and the clubs are concerned that obviously we're going to go all the way up there and not be able to film. So basically the trip is off. We are, uh, we're turning round. So with golf courses once again hit by bad weather, we had two options, change the channel and become a coffee and food critique, or we battle on and find a golf course that is actually open. Now I have to be honest, it wasn't an easy decision. Drinking coffee, eating cakes, dry and warm by the fire, no cancellations, no need to wear five layers and a bobble hat. But I'm a man of my word and I said you'd get golf every Monday at 6.30 p.m. And golf is what you're gonna get. Landed now is a seaside town in North Wales. It's a place that caters for both the very young and the very old. I'd describe it as Marbella for the over 70s, except with far less sun. The architecture in Landidno is predominantly from the Victorian era. And judging by some of the buildings, it was the last time they had a lick of paint which is testament to the lengths they have gone to to achieve the full bygone experience. I am of course only joking. I love a trip to Landidno. It has a warmth and charm that is only found in traditional British seaside towns. Punch and Judy, ice cream, fish and chips, slot machines and fairground rides is a very unique British experience that should never disappear. And more importantly, they have a golf course that is open. Well, actually, they have two. I can't tell you how excited I am to be able to film another episode of Off The Beaten Track. Look, there you go. You can see I am overcome with happiness and joy. Right, I told you we would get back out on the golf course one way or another and uh, the sun is shining although I will say we've got a few holes closed here today. I'm at North Wales Golf Club which is in Clandidno and uh, I just honestly I've never known such a prolonged period of wet weather in the UK. I think it's been record levels of rainfall since last July and I'm just really interested in what is your fix, how are you getting over, what's a substitute for not playing golf? I'd love to know. Anyway, we've had a few holes uh, warm up. We're on, I think, the seventh or eighth, because like I said, we've got three holes, three, four, and five have been closed. Well, that could work better than, I've had a lot of nice shots today that have looked good. And that's the one that's probably got closest to the hole. I can also say I've never been more chilled on a golf course because Stuart Golf have sent me a remote control trolley and uh, apart from the fact we had a bit of a near disaster on the first tee, we're now uh, well and truly up and running and I love this thing. 
It's like having your own little caddy. Go on, off you go. Like obviously driving ranges and uh, well, I'm, not, I'm not a great practicer, full stop, and whacking balls at a driving range is the obvious substitute. And then there's loads of like indoor simulator bars nowadays. Um, so I don't know whether you've got any of them nearby. Well, nothing is a substitute for the real thing. Right, let's see if we can get this all the way back up to the hole. It's got a chance. Yeah, not bad. It's not been a bad start, to be fair. And uh, again, working on the swing a bit with Lou last week, those two rounds that we had, it was great to have him in tow because really all I did was peck his head after every swing that I hit and asked him what I was doing right or wrong, which was, was good for me anyway. I just thought, I don't know how many of those kind of uh, towers are, um, are in play in around America and different other countries. They're predominantly seen on uh, a lot of Lynx courses when there's a a blind shot and you're seeing if the place is cleared or not but I don't know whether they're all over the world or not but they're certainly found quite often on links right off we go I'll take that. I'll have to give myself that because I'm not walking back for the putter and I've left the remote control. This has been good for me, you know, as I can kind of like, uh, it's almost like therapy. It's like, um, that went in by the way. It's like, it's like having a shrink talking to the camera. It's a way to just uh, kind of express yourself. So this whole change in philosophy since this series began, which was about, um, you know, everything being maybe a little bit more authentic, a little bit more true to life and real has been really good on a personal level. And then walking around golf courses and sort of seeing them for what they are and not getting too hung up on performance. Because now is a typical example where we just had weeks and weeks and months in some cases of not being able to play golf. So I think, you know, we've got to, yeah, I've got to appreciate it when you do get the opportunity to get out there. There you go, anyway, that's my thoughts. I just said to Hannah, who is behind the camera today, by the way, that'll be a photo of the week coming shortly. It is a shame we're playing the winter tees because uh, just next week, and we're filming this on something like, I think it's the 27th today of, uh, of March. Next week, I assume the course will be open. It's the kind of official start of the season in most places. And you've got these tee boxes, which is, uh, let me just stop that there. This is the white tee yellows and reds and if you have a look around the course where we've been I've seen to be fair some great work of where the tee boxes look superb and have been protected rightly so all winter but it's a different uh, golf course altogether when you stood here and you've got that kind of backdrop and uh, sort of teeing off across the angle of the beach than the one we're going to see today and a lot of them so just bear that in mind and another a lot of people have asked me about how much am I paying to pay these pieces I don't quote anything because generally they're either maybe a winter green field, there's so many changes throughout the season, but for those who are interested, it was around, depend on the time of play, between sort of uh, 35 and I think the top fee as a visitor was £42 a day on the 27th of March. Do you know what, I can't believe how much the weather changes, I think it seems to always on the Lynx course and uh, We've got some drone footage that you'll see which has been absolutely stunning. Then it's been really dark for eight holes and then we've got here, I think this is the ninth, isn't it? 
and uh, how nice is this? This is what we've been missing and we need more of. Well certainly the Tiger Line, it's okay and we're not going left thank God but yeah maybe a little bit closer to the uh, left hand side than I'd want to be but oh my word, that's stunning isn't it? Right, so we're going to keep a score on the back nine because, uh, like I said, three holes taken out of that front. Uh, this is stroke four, 380, we're about 30 yards. It's probably playing 350. This is one of those blind ones at the black and white marker is what we'll be aiming. And um, when you see these things, it's all about, you know, you've got to, you've got to commit to it. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if I can do what I'm preaching. Practice what I preach, as they say. Yeah, that's super shot. There's a four wood, by the way. It's maybe a tad out to the right. I think the hole makes its way back into the left-hand side. But really happy with that. And the other thing I just want to say is that it's a good few years since I've last played this golf course. And it seems that there's a heck of a lot of work going on since I last played it. And you can see that um, off-season as well, they seem to have a lot of stuff. I noticed straight away from the very first new tee box that's been built but there's noticeable areas all around. So congrats to the green team. They seem to be doing a great job. As ever, a massive thank you and a shout out to PXG for sponsoring Off The Beaten Track. All the clubs, apparel and accessories featured in this video are PXG, although they refuse to take any accountability for my bad shots. Right, I'm going to go with that. 130 into the flag. I'll tell you what you can also, because I'm always asking for comments is, uh, Oh, this might be too big. One, um, yeah, just have to think for a minute then. Has anyone played Stymie? So we've had, you've seen a couple of episodes where me and Lewis has been uh, giving that a go. And uh, I've also played it sort of um, off camera. And it's been really enjoyable. I'd love to hear from anybody who's perhaps tried it. I have to shut up for a bit and try and concentrate. Okay, sit down. Yeah, we're, we're on the dance floor. This week sees the return of Photo of the Week with a few thrown in from off the course. So as ever, it's Hannah or Andy in the comment section below. Uh, no, I'm going to go, driver's going back in, I'm going forward again. We're down breeze, it's a little bit tight this one, um, a little bit longer, 360 off the tee. I'm going to go to the um, left side of the tee box. And the reason for that is I like to sort of uh, block this left hand side out a little bit visually. And I'm going to aim towards what is a red um, staked area. There's a little brook running alongside there. And hopefully we can bring something back to centre. That's the plan at least anyway. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Is the forward long enough? Yeah, I think that's pretty much perfect. We're good to go. I'm fuming after the three put on the last, which was... Uh, yeah, I just went like a steam train down a slope which I either didn't see or that green is particularly quick. Anyway, we started with a bogey, let's see if we can make it back. about how sort of therapeutic these videos are for me the main motivation has been when you when you read some of the comments that you lot post 
one they're very flattering but two you're suggesting that you kind of wait now for a Monday evening or look forward to a Monday evening which is uh am I on the green there can I mark that I think I can um yeah you look forward to it and it, and it acts as a motivation because um in a situation like we've had again this week it's forced me um in a way of making it work and yeah it doesn't go uh unappreciated that's not a word is it unappreciated um yeah i just love it it's I mean, it's a great motivation this is also a motivation because if i can hold this it would get me back to level par that's a weak effort i think hello do you know what the greens are they don't look overly quick and there's a little bit of sand on them but they're really running out and uh, got more pace than they suggest that's so that's a par so since the first bogey hole which i three putted i followed it up with uh, straight par so we're doing okay and i want to talk to you really as well later on in the video at some point is uh, how my own game is going to be put to the test soon when uh, well, i'll be playing my first medal comp for quite a while one club you know that's uh i hope you've seen my sort of change up in my bag setup in uh should be in recent weeks we posted that video but that forward is the best thing that i've uh, put in the bag it's uh it's an absolute winner right let's do a three point turn let's go the rain didn't hold off for as long as we'd hoped and of course we're now taking our battery I did want to show you a whole 16 and 17, but on 16 we just took, uh, the rain has come and the storm has hit. But basically you played two greens, uh, two holes back to back, two par threes, which is very unusual. And it's a great finish to your round. And, uh, well this is 17, playing from a uh, slightly forward, elevated tee. And it's playing 116 with wind off the right, as you can see from the flag. Okay, that's a nice line. Is the distance right? Just sit down. Oh, that's a nice finish, hopefully. And got the zoom in on there on the other camera. And uh, we've got a decent chance for birdie. But to be honest with you, I just can't wait to get back down on the cover again. 